want to talk to you from the topic today, a relentless pursuit. A relentless pursuit. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20, and behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood for 12 years came behind him, him being Jesus. And touched the hem of his garment. For she said uh, within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Verse 22, but Jesus turned him about. And when he saw her, he said, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Relentless. And uh, literally, it's an oppressively constant pursuit. It's literally a pursuit that causes hardship. What is a pursuit? A pursuit is the action of following or pursuing someone or something. So when we talk about a relentless pursuit, what you're literally saying is in your momentum to go forward, you're okay with causing hardship until you can offend others in order to obey God. You can't follow God until you can cause others to deal with the oppression of their sin state in your resilient stance to live right, then you'll never live right in the eyes of God. I want you to consider this too. There is a difference between touching Jesus and seeking a touch from him. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. And she has suffered a great deal from many doctors. And over the years, she has spent everything she had to pay her doctor, but she had gotten no better. In fact, she had gotten worse and she heard about Jesus. So she came up behind him through the crowd and she touched his robe. I want to submit to us today that culturalistically in the church of Jesus Christ, we are literally trained to seek a touch from Jesus. How do we know? We know when we're seeking a touch from Jesus, when we want to tell Jesus to come to where we are. But I do desire to distinguish between the mentality that says, Jesus, you need to come and fix this. And then the one that says, Jesus, I know you can fix this if I come to you. This relentless pursuit is for the one, two, 200 people that get this paradigm, that recognize that they have been limiting themselves in their mind. They've been limiting how far they can go. They've been limiting what they can accomplish. They've been limiting what, what, how they should deal with sickness and, and deal with disease and, and deal with anguish and deal with hardship. And they've been like the man by the pool of Bethesda. They've been saying, I have nobody to throw me into the pool. Someone's got to tell us. Someone's got to challenge us. Somebody's got to get into the nuances. Because some of us, we've been surfaced for way too long. God says, I'm trying to take you into a deeper place in your understanding. I want to broaden your perspective of who I am and who you are because of me and who I am in you and what you'll do through me. I need to take you from this place of playing victim and waiting for me to come and acknowledge your victimized state and, and approve you in front of other people. And I need you to know that you're not a victim no more. Get up in all of your God naturedness and be who I called you to be. Everybody can't be asking Jesus to touch them. Somebody's got to want to touch him. 